Would that be That's fine it. as a my referral to you to That's ask fine. for treatment? That's fine. You can send the films. I like to get the films and a brief letter just explaining your symptoms. Yeah. Okay. And we review it. We have a group of about 12 doctors every Thursday morning review every case. Mm. And once we're confident that we agree with the diagnosis, we would invite you in. All my life I've enjoyed music and, you know, it's true, they say you don't realise the loss until it's gone, do you? And I don't think I will until I totally lose it all, realise how much it means to me. Class Newydd Jazz Festival on Anglesey. A chance for Myris to unwind and try to forget her worries. But her love of music makes her more determined to save her hearing. Time is running out for her as the symptoms are getting worse. She now has to decide whether to go for conventional surgery which could make her deaf, or the lesser known treatment in America which offers her the possibility of saving her hearing. My father was a very strong person. Um, very disciplined and uh, always all my life you know he always thought positive always looked for the good in people and always thought well whatever battle you come against you've got to get on with it and you know sort it out um, and uh, I do wish that he'd have he was here you know for for the time I would have liked him to be here. After much soul searching, Myris finally opts for fractionated radio surgery at New York. Some person would say, Oh, let me get this lump out of my head now. Um, doesn't matter about the quality of life so long as I get that tumour out. I don't feel like that. Fractionated radio surgery offers me the best option of quality of life. The idea is to reduce the tumour if possible. It never gets rid of the tumour from what I gather. The tumour will always be there, but it stops it from growing any further and causing more damage. Lederman has never said it would be a 100% guarantee. He has always said that there would be a 3% chance that he could turn it malignant and that there is also a 12% chance that I could lose my hearing and that my balance could be affected. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Nice to see you again. How are you? How are you? Fine, nice to see you. Nice to you. see you again. Welcome. She's always had poor balance. For how long? Uh, ever since she was a teenager. Yeah, I've never. How long have we known each other? Ever since she was a teenager. So yeah. for thirty years. Yeah, I've, ne I've never been Probably able to. Uh, yeah. I've never been able to ride a bike, no. but I can ride a horse because uh, it's got four legs. <laughs> the horse can balance. <laughs> now whether this tube has been there for years, I don't. It's mean. probably been there for many, many years. Mm. Yeah. This is not the largest tumor we've treated. In fact, for us, believe it or not, it's a small tumor. Yeah. This measurement they're t getting is uh, 17 millimeters. Our largest tumor is 37 cubic centimeters. Oh. So we have, we have patients who come where the whole tumor obliterates the brain yeah, stem. Yeah. Here it's just <coughs> pushing on the brain stem. It is putting pressure on the brain stem. Palms together, all the way out. Myris undergoes several tests, including one to assess the physical effects of her tumor. Okay, that's the acoustic neuroma. Okay, why don't you put your shoes on, have a seat, I'm gonna take some notes, I'll be right back. After two long years preparing to lose her hearing and battling to find an alternative cure, Myris finally heads off for her treatment. Despite some debate around this controversial treatment within the medical world, Gil Lederman has treated 500 people with fractionated radio surgery and he claims a 99% success rate. I'll be thinking about, my God, they did this in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, you know, 
the radium. That's what I think of when I think of radium radiation. You're talking about a very powerful, powerful thing coming in through your head uh, and you really don't know what's going to happen. It's almost the wonder of it all and the horror of it all together, if you know what I mean. measurements from the frame to the skull and only when every measurement is perfect do we actually proceed with treatment. The patient needs a lucky kiss otherwise we can't proceed here. All right. So I thought you'd be in charge of that. I'll go back. The radium will pierce through the tumor from several different angles. It's a unique program developed by Dr. Lederman and his team using the latest in medical technology. Our success rate is overwhelming. Essentially 99% of the patients are successfully treated years later. And 90% of our patients maintain or actually improve their hearing. Okay? If you need anything, just raise your hand or speak up, otherwise we'll be in another room every few minutes. Mm -hmm. Myris received five sessions in all over a two-week period. She's been warned that some radiation sickness is inevitable. She may also suffer from headaches, but Myris feels it's a small price to pay for preserving her hearing. Okay. The effects of radium will carry on working in her head throughout the following year. It's hoped the tumor will stop growing, and if all goes well, Myris will need no further treatment. Back down towards your chest. Open your mouth. Bravo. Okay. Congratulations. Okay. You did it. You did great. This is the beginning of my future, really. So I promised you for 20. I have every faith in that it will work. Let's talk about it in 20 yes. years. Thanks very much indeed. Okay. Thank you. Any questions you can think of? No, I'm just fine. Let's, you know, be one's fun. You can yeah. eat, drink, be merry. I will. I'm sure if you guys can go find a bottle of champagne somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure we will. You don't know the meaning of the word awesome until you lay in that room and you're just waiting for that machine to start going over you. I just thought to myself, my God, I hope you're here with me now. And I thought, I did, I thought of the children. Sean Quintley and Al Hattie. Nothing seems to be important anymore. Everything seems to be dropped into some form of perspective, the important things in life. And I see people getting so irate and worked up about everyday little things. And I think, what on earth are they going on about? If you haven't got health to enjoy that life, then nothing's important, is it? <laughs> 